Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Ivan Skoldy and today I'm going to demonstrate the button. Let us start by creating our new project. Now the purpose and the goal of this video is to teach you how to set up a button, how to make it do stuff, setting the toggle mode and so on. So let's start by creating our main node. I'm going to use a control node. I'm going to rename this main. I'm going to press control S to save and just save. Now I'm going to set the anchor points to fit the end. Margin to zero and we are good to go. Let's start by creating our button here. Let's add our node. Let's select button. Let's rename this button with lower capital letters and let's create it here. I'm going to move it to the middle here. Let's hit play. Let's select our main scene and let's hit play again. Okay, we have a button. It does nothing. It doesn't even say anything, so let's start by adding text. Now, most of what I'm going to do, you can do from within the inspector. But my purpose and my goal is to teach you how to do it from the script itself. So let's create a new script on main, add script, create. Let's start by getting our node. On ready, we're gonna get our node. And that takes in our button path. Then we select it from main, select button path, assign, and select our button. Okay, so let's start by giving the button a name here. So, button dot set text my button. Let's hit play, make sure it works, and there it is. But it still doesn't do anything. But we have some text now, which is nice. That's a step further. So that's a step in the right direction. Let's start by setting the toggle mode here. I will do my best to comment everything, so if you wish to download our project files at the end here, you can do so, and hopefully that will give you some insight into how this works. So let's set our toggle mode here. Button dot set toggle mode. And what this does is basically it turns it like an on and off switch. So when you press it once, it's on. When you press it again, it's off, and so on. So let's set toggle mode to true. Which means if I were to press it now, it's gonna stay in until I press it again. And it's out. It's in. And it's out. Okay. What else? Well, what if I wanted to disable the button? How do I do that? I just use button dot set disabled and you insert true. Let's try it again. And now it doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Okay, so how do I make it do something? I mean, so far I haven't made it done anything. Well, you do that by connecting the button. You can use signals directly from the editor itself by double clicking the signal. So, I would use toggled if I were to toggle this, or I would use pressed if I used to use it normally. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a signal for our button using code. So let's create our connection. And we do that by writing in button.connect. And we're gonna connect the signal called toggled and send it to ourself on a method named onToggled. Now this function takes in a boolean. Now the way you check what variable it returns is by just checking the signals right here. Or, optionally, you can go into scripts and you can search the class. Which is, in this case, a button. Or rather, base button. But let's click button here. And select base button. Because this is what every single button inherits. It has signals, such as button down, button up, press, release, and toggled. And here you can see more documentation about what it does. So, let's go back to our toggled here create our function, take in a pressed, so if pressed, I want to do something. Well, let's print hello, and if it's not pressed, let's print goodbye. So, let us uncomment the disable so we can actually press the button again, and let's hit play. So, the toggle mode is on, so this is going to work perfectly here. So, let's press it. I missed. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, well that's interesting. So, hmm. What you do with that is really up to you. Now, you may have buttons on the menu. So, if you, for example, had a start button. So, let's go back here. Let's rename this start game. And let's turn off toggle mode by commenting it. And let us change this into another, because this doesn't make, this is not the right function now. If I were to play this, it's not gonna work, because it's not toggling, because it's not a 
toggle button. So this will not work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment this. I'm going to create a new connect. Let's go here. So let's connect a button with not with toggles, but pressed. So on pressed, it's going to run this. So let's create a new function. Actually, let's do it under this. On button. On button pressed, we're going to run a function called on press. And it's, this takes in nothing. So let's print our start game here. So we now have a button called start game. When we press this right here, it's going to send a signal to on pressed. And then this will run. And then we start the game here. So let's try it again. Click. And that is where you would start the game. I recommend you play around with the button. Take a look at the inspector view. There are a lot of more changes that you can do. You can resize this, and you can do this from code as well. But pretty much anything you can do in the inspector is something you can do from code. And in order to find out how to do that, just check the class of the button. And then make sure to check the base button, because that's what this inherits. Base button is the base button. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, and I will see you in a future video. Bye-bye.